If you look at Greenland and Antarctica together, you have already many scientists that say that we are approaching the tipping point in which Greenland will lose its ice mass and West Antarctica would lose its ice mass, which means that we absolutely need to act immediately. To rescue Antarctica, to rescue Greenland, to rescue, to rescue the glaciers that I've seen in Nepal, it is absolutely crucial to end the addiction to fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are the first source of climate change. And I hope that the next COP will be able to decide the phase out of fossil fuels with a clear time frame that is compatible to guarantee that the temperature will not rise more than 1.5 degrees, and with that, to rescue the Antarctica, the Greenland, and the glaciers that are melting at an accelerated speed. What happens in Antarctica doesn't stay in Antarctica. This is changing the way currents evolve around the world, uh, in which uh, warm water is distributed. Uh, this is uh, um, having uh, 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 an impact on the floods, uh, on the storms, on the other uh, situations that are creating havoc around the world. So, to address the situation in Antarctica is through intense climate action that the COP can decide to address the problems, the existential problems of our world. Climate change is the most important existential threat to humankind. It does not depend on who's elected here or there. It is a moral imperative, a political imperative, and an existential imperative for all of us everywhere. And I'm very hopeful that the presence of the Pope will contribute to make political leaders understand that it is also a moral imperative, a moral imperative to uh, put climate action as an absolute priority and to do everything that is necessary to move from the suicidal trajectory that we are uh, having today to uh, a strong, continued commitment to climate action 
in order to be able that we rescue the planet.